Alright guys, how is it going? So, I told you guys, I'd make a video on the next crown that comes out and that the crystal crown has been discovered in this Hexaria game. Like, I thought it would be in a more mainstream game, like maybe, you know, <laughs> maybe Meep City, but no, it's here. So, I'm gonna try and keep this quick. This is how you get the key. Here goes guys, and if this does help, be sure to subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate it a lot, you know, I upload pretty much every day, so yeah, it would be cool if you left a like if it helps you as well, but either way, into the video, let's go. So guys, what you've got to do is go into this Hexaria game, now it's gonna have like a, I think this is like a tutorial thing, so, you know, you just have to do that, but it shouldn't take too long now. By the way, you shouldn't need to fight much in this, this is just like an annoying thing you have to do. Okay, so I think I'm done with the tutorial now, so that, that didn't take long at all, that was literally like five or six minutes. So an important thing first of all is when you spawn, you have to go to the graveyard, there's just a sign up here, it doesn't really take long. But, you have to do this part at night, so what you have to do is just, you know, wait for the game to cycle to night mode and then... It can be a bit inconvenient, but, I, I don't know, Ro Roblox wanna be- Roblox wanna be creative. Alright, so it doesn't actually take long for it to turn night time, so you just have to go to this sign, follow the path where it says graveyard, like, that's what you're aiming to go, so you just have to go along. Uh, avoid these people because they are they, they are bad distractions and you don't want to get involved. So yeah, just stick to the path, nothing too complex. Now, you're finally here. So it says graveyard, obviously, you're still going to the graveyard, so you go up this hill, chill here, and then what you have to do is just go past, so it, instead of going through this room or anything like that, you just run straight past, straight through here, and you'll probably see a bunch of people because everyone's going to do the tutorial now. There is this tree, so th this is like the this is like the vending machine part of the game. It's the most complex part of the whole thing, but I'll, I'll walk you through it. So what this basically is is Morse code. Now I, I don't know how the first guy to get the crown. I don't know how he did it, okay? I, I would never have guessed to do Morse code, but basically, it's on this lantern, on this light thing, and you have to wait for a really long pause. Now, th this is it, basically. That means it's reset. So, once that happens, it's gonna have this pattern with, like, the lights turning on and off. So, it's quite hard to follow, and you might want to get, like, a piece of paper, maybe open up, you know, notepad on your PC, something like that. So, yeah, this is a pause. Now, what it is, is it's either a dot, which is just a short blink, a pause, where it goes black for a second, like just here, and a line, where it holds for a second, like just there. So, I don't know if I explained that well, but basically, just a blink is a dot, holding it for a bit is a line or a dash, and there's a bit where it goes black, which is just a slash, so, dot, dash, slash, that's what you're gonna have to record, now, I'm gonna actually try and record it myself, so, so, just a fair warning, I I'm quite bad at this, so if you're bad too, then don't worry too much now, what I would say is this is gonna be different for everyone, so don't, don't copy mine, because it's not gonna be the same for you, but, so, wait for the big pause, dot, dash, dash, slash, dot, 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 dash, slash, dot, dash, dot dot dot. Wait, I'm pretty sure there was another pause here, so if you miss something like I just did, just go back and make sure it's right, you know, you can see where it is in the pattern, but make sure, make sure there's three slashes in your entire thing. Or obviously you need to put them in the right place. So I think I finally got the code, I kind of messed up a bit, but you sort of have to like, you know, trial and error. You'll get used to the pattern, that's what I'm trying to say, so sorry if that was a bit unclear, but hopefully you get the idea, so. Once you have the code, you go to this Morse code translator, basically any translator you find on Google, I'll leave this as the pinned comment or in the description, but we just go to the notepad, paste our code. Now, it will give you four letters, hopefully you have three dashes, because if not, you you don't have four letters, but this is W-V-E-B. What you have to do is go back down here and go down the road, so basically just store your letters somewhere, like write them down, do whatever, notepad's always really good. So once you do this, from over there, you go back to the graveyard and you just have to sort of like walk to the path on the right so you can, you can do whatever, you can cut it through now. Once you get to the bottom, you should see a sign and yeah, this is it, I'm pretty sure, so you get to it and it says shop, so you follow this, make your way to the shop. So you just go down here, don't bother going right or anything, so run up here, 
the very very steep climb. I'm pretty sure this is just like a straight path so shouldn't do too many problems but you never know. Then you have to make a right turn up here so just when you get there and you come to the shop so but once you go to the shop you don't actually have to you can just cut here. I, I don't even know why I went here but go along here find this path now it should be a straight road right to the Cambris town or the C Cambris town. There we go but big sign saying town so you go up the stairs you don't go anywhere else and you follow this path right to the house up here onto the left side of here so once you go in you go through this room and you talk to this guy bernard i, I don't know he, he said he says some weird stuff so you just talk to him now you have to type something in guess what this is gonna be guys it is gonna be the code you got from the blinking tree so my one as you remember is w v e b and here we go we get this thing this like fortune cookie thing now you open your fortune cookie and this is a part you have to you have to pay a lot of attention to okay so get like notepad out get whatever out because this is something you're gonna have to note down for later similar to the w v e b thing or the morse code thing obviously different letters to me use the fortune cookie and it gives you this so what you have to do is write down the code or the quote and the lucky numbers in order so let me just do this now on notepad life moves pretty fast you could miss it 12 35 57 32 and 77 i think this might be different for you i'm not even sure write whatever comes up on your screen so close your inventory or you're, you're probably you're probably smart enough to click it here i let it fade away once you have your magical quote and your magical numbers you have to you have to open this so you have to scroll down to the map which is this yellow thing and you have to open it so then you type in your numbers so i'm just gonna copy and paste them now but you have to you have to remove the commas for some reason i mean so you type this in the chat no not a prank guys not not a prank put it and Sharma appears D don't know why but then you've got Sharma so once you've done this guess what you do you click on Sharma you're heading to a new dimension guys so you go into this big house thing you just walk up here walk into the house climb the stairs go left and then a double left so you find this bed now what you have to do find the quote you copy and paste it into notepad or did whatever with and paste it in exactly. Oh wait, it didn't do anything. So what I've done wrong is I've actually pasted it in, but I copied something wrong. So if you do this, just go back. Make sure you type it exactly as I do. I think nothing different to the quote you were given. Press enter. Now what you've got to do. Apparently you're meant to hear like some sort of, I don't know, some sound you heard earlier in the game. But you go through here. And then you should see this now walk into it and you get this card thing so you've got this thing it doesn't really matter what you have so you close it and then i think you have to send yourself back to the start of the game so the quickest way just hit the reset button yeah yeah what gotta do here is instead of going to the right near the graveyard you have to you have to go to the town again the cambris town so you follow this path up here just keep on following it don't worry too much instead of turning up the stairs like you did before you have to keep walking down this path you know you, you can pretty much walk across but to just for the sake of keeping it simple i'm gonna follow the path exactly you have to go past this bridge thing so just make sure you're here go down here and sooner or later you'll get to this weird thing up here so I i'm not quite sure what this is but this is like a door to another dimension now I'm pretty sure you go through this front one here, the only one that's glowing, and it teleports you to another game. So now you're in this like weird battlegrounds thing. What you have to do is just stay away. I think just stick to the edge of the map. You don't want to get into fights because if you do that, that would be very bad. So you just go here, try not to get chased and try and avoid like going anywhere near pretty much anybody. So once you do this, you go down here, just follow what I'm doing pretty much. Uh, as long as i don't mess up you go down here you also want to stay away from this like sparkly thing just but don't touch the sparkles okay they're, they're, it's not a good idea oh my i have to stay away i have to stay away we go to this bridge i think this guy might be saving my life here so go up here and you go through this portal so once you're in this new like dimension you have to go across here so don't be an idiot and die I, I would i would for sure be guilty of doing that so then what you have to do is head to this this second tower over here so keep running keep going along this path and you should you should see a guy in here now you you follow this guy and then he's he's very he's very surprised to see you so keep on talking to him keep on doing that you, you have to say yes 
But don't tell him you don't have the legendary object that that's not a good idea. Would you make a trade for it? Yes. You do want this, so you click continue and... So just open up the dots or click on it, doesn't really matter. So once you have this perm, you don't need to do anything with it just yet. You have to, you have to go out here, you kind of... You just have to reset to the beginning of the world, so... Then you go through the portal, go back to the other world. Same thing again, reset again. Just keep on resetting until you get to, like, the beginning of the world, so... You go back here, go through the portal, keep on going. You're, you're back here. It, it's all good. What you've got to do here is head back to, you know, you see the sign where it says Cambridge Town. Go along this path and head back to the town, which... You should be able to find pretty easily. So after you hit the bridge, go back to the sign, etc, etc. And here is the town. Now, you go to the town, you go right through it. So just up here, ignore the houses you're at before and you'll see a church at the end of the town. So you go into it and there should be a guy here. Ted. H how's it going, Ted? So you click on him. He, he says, simple question for you. What is my last name? I I, I definitely I definitely know your name, mate. But luckily, luckily for you, I, I can tell you his name. He his name is Longbottom. I, I I don't know why, but you open this, you click reply, and you see a movement here. You just go over here. So teleports you to yet another dimension. Now you're in this creepy place. You go into this room. Now you just have to jump down, talk to Traveltron. Let's dance. So you you, you have to. Yep, you have to dance with him. Now, you use the arrow keys. I haven't tried this before, so you have to be good, but, uh... Yeah, focus. If you somehow... <laughs> if you somehow lose the dance battle, it takes you to here, so you just have to, to go back to the spawn, which... Y yes, yes, I died. You can also reset your character if you fail the dance battle, but that, that's entirely up to you. Don't worry, go back to the town and you just talk to him again. Exactly the same place, talk to Ted. Yeah, you've got to really make sure you're ready for this, okay? Click to continue. Oh my god, guys. I finally beat him. That Congratulations, you have completed the crystal gate. And as you can see here, you have got the crystal crown. So that's gonna be, that's how you get the crystal crown. I really hope this helped you guys. I, I can't believe I did that battle though, because... The <laughs> That took me way too long. So, as I said, hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and make sure you subscribe if you're new. And, yeah, that's gonna be it. So, I'm not gonna drag this out. This is just to show you guys how to get the crown. And, yep, that, that's the video. So, hope you have a good day. Good luck with getting the crown. And, I'm out, guys. Peace. Yo, I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true.